She's saucy and sassy, and she's proof that it's never too late to make a career change. Cindy Lindenmeyer is Australia's hottest new novelist, and she's causing quite a stir in the cutthroat world of romantic fiction. Brady Halls went along to see what all the fuss is about. Did so, she slowly opened her knees, and with a free hand, gently raised her skirt him to reveal to him, as he expected, she was wearing no panties. Are oh, you been turned on? <laughs> Is that too much? Is that too much? <laughs> Is that too much? Is that too much, love? I think I'm blushing. <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> oh dear, it's a funny old job, mine. Go and interview a grandmother about her new book. The boss says. Didn't mention she's an X-rated novelist. Doesn't everyone like sex? Doesn't people like it? Don't they have sexual thoughts? Cindy Lindenmeyer is 72 years old. You like the raunchy Barbara Cartlin? I'd like to think so, Brady. Most 72 year olds, uh, you don't expect to hear bedroom capers, really. Well, that's because of society putting that thing on to them. I mean, they, they get criticised if they talk about their pills and they go, Ew! if they talk about sex. She came out of the bathroom stark naked. Yeah, and what happened then? She's working on her latest novel, Facade, with husband Travis. And you're going to love this. He's a former family court judge. I, th I think women have more fantasies than men, to be quite honest. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think, don't think so. so. Well, maybe, maybe, so. maybe you're more open about it than <laughs> I've asked a few, a lot of them, about their fantasies. Yeah, no, my yeah. God. And I've asked them about what their first experience with sex is. It's amazing, you know. How a grandmother of three married to a judge got into writing saucy stories didn't come straight away. She started penning a couple of very conservative books. Writing, though, was in her blood. Her dad, Tom Collins, wrote the famous Walk a Mile in My Shoes. I think I worked with my mum in a hairdressing shop for years and years, and people used to spill their guts and tell you stories. That'll be enough now, love, or we go to the bedroom now? Why not? To his increasingly needy rhythmic thrusting. As a She's back she and reading from her first raunchy novel, Guilty yeah. Secrets. Her eager tongue entwined hungrily with his and the now mutually gaping mouths. Guilty Secrets, a tale of a woman whose world is shaken apart when a former flame re-enters her life, did well. She researched it by visiting sex shops, reading Playboys and, well... Oh yes, doing the research is good aerobic exercise. Much more fun than doing the treadmill, <laughs> well, believe me. I've been married for 50 odd years. I've probably had more sex than you, lovey. Oh, I can guarantee that. <laughs> You're doing the mathematics, hey? She's getting I hot could, in here. I could teach you a little bit, John. Oh, I'm very hot there. <laughs> I'm not alone. There's son, Christopher. Okay. But some of the uh, more explicit ones, I um, haven't been able to get past the first paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> She's your mother. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah, no, it's a bit, um, yeah. It's a bit too much, but I need a bit more cancelling before I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, I'll never look at grandmothers the same way again. Thanks, darling. I've enjoyed today. Thank you, Brady. Thank you. I like that, Brady. I'm going to put him in my next novel. Brady learning about the birds and the bees. And if you're up to it, Cindy's book, Guilty Secrets, is now available at Angus and Rob.